Roofers are at the house and we are waterproofing it today. Well, they are starting and moving very quickly on the other side of the house. They are just starting this one. And if you don't know how to roof a house, you have to put underlayment down below first. And the first layer they're putting up is what we call an ice guard. That's so that water can't go back up in case it gets stopped at the gutters for any reason when it freezes. So they put the ice guard down and then they'll put this other underlayment down. It used to be felt paper that they put all the way up but I told them I really wanted the higher grade stuff. Um, this stuff's a little bit more like the Tyvek you put on your house, but significantly better because if your roof isn't waterproof, you have a big problem and it just trickles downhill into the house and I don't want any issues with that. So we sprung for the higher grade uh, base layer so that it's just protected all the way up. And then they'll put the shingles on here in a couple days. on the ice barrier paper there is a tar backing that goes down and once that heats up even in the winter time that sun will still warm that up and it'll start melting and bonding so that there's better protection in the valleys they put the ice barrier in there as well so it's just stronger that's going to take the brunt end of the water because this face and this face are going to both come into that valley and so they put it in all the valleys so that they're just a little bit more protected good morning Monday. It is the start of the week and if you look on the top of the house there are pallets of shingles. There are roofing trucks everywhere. I mean one, two, three, four, five trucks. Two guys in each or more and they are ready to start shingling this house. I asked the foreman, I said, is it normal for you guys to have this big of a crew every time? And he says no, but they can knock this one out quick if they've got as big a crew as possible. So that's pretty cool. The initial plan on the house was to have everything exhaust through the chimneys but my plumber is really worried that it's not quite far enough away from any of the gas inlets or fresh air intakes for like chimneys and devices that are running on that he's really worried that they're going to pull in the sewer gas vent that we have to run so he's like i think we should just run them separately hide them which means we will have penetrations in the roof i wasn't planning on it but we will and in order to do that you need to have these kind of boots this is a rubber grommet that seals to the piece of pipe and then this gets laid in to the shingles so it even gives you a diagram but these guys are going to do it because they're laying all the shingles but they have to be done before they get to that point of shingling so they know exactly where to go if we are lucky this is the last time we'll see this felt paper for the next 30 years if you're not sure what kind of nails you got to be using you definitely have to be using galvanized nails and they don't need to be deep these are only an inch and a quarter because the shingle is an eighth of an inch at most. This tops is eighth of an inch. So they're really sinking into the 5 8 board and sheeting really deep. Any more is just a waste of nail. So inch and a quarter, galvanized, and hundreds of them. First hole drilled. That was easy. This one got lucky. We were way far away from any supports. So nice and easy. Here is number two. And what I kind of based it off of was the fireplaces that are directly out there. And you can kind of tell where we're at because that is where the fireplace will be, is in that cubby right there. So that's fire blocking and boom, we're here. And so lucky. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is called plumber strapping.
this is a no-no. You cannot have a whole tile like that. But once we get this jingled and attached here, when we bring the stack up, we'll cut it here and lift it and then we support the stack kind of better. But for right now, this is perfect. That guy's pretty stout. One down, one to go. gone over the top and now we just feed this guy down. And then these guys when they get over to it Perfect. And then these guys will layer in the shingles. They'll shove a few underneath so this drains off and then on top. And then they'll call it good. That's amazing. That's a safety anchor. There's a lot of nails going into that bad boy. Coming down, holding these guys on for dear life. Look at that. I mean, that's a big, that's like 30 feet. Yeah. You guys are crazy. So the key to roofing is definitely multiple people because one guy is nailing and setting, one guy is feeding, and it goes so fast if you can have multiple guys feeding, one guy nailing. You can nail real quick. And then another guy working all your corners. Remember those vents we put in this morning? Yeah, they're all the way shingled around and ready to go. This house is completely shingled. There's a lot of debris all over the place. But it is 100% shingled, and the only thing left to do is the front porch. And as strange as they came, they're leaving the same. <laughs> 